Windsor Castle, home to kings and queens for nearly a thousand years, and within its grounds, St George's Chapel, where many members of the family have been baptised, married and, yes, buried. When Meghan Markle is driven into these hallowed grounds, packed with special guests, she will mark a new chapter in this most famous of family histories. The car will come into what will be a quite eerily quiet cloister. It'll stop here and the first thing that will confront the bride is some 20 steps leading up to the chapel. As Meghan Markle enters the church, the guests will turn around and see her at the west door beneath that spectacular stained glass window. This whole area will be filled with seats, 600 people in total, and whilst it looks vast and spacious, it's actually quite intimate at this level and quite a narrow aisle as we move up from the nave into the choir and a few more steps. As she enters the choir, wherever she looks, she'll see a nod to the Knights of the Garter. It's the highest order of chivalry in the land, the oldest in the world. High up on the ceiling, a boss for Henry VIII, who completed this church 500 years ago. Flags represent all the current Knights of the Garter, including the best man there, Prince William, his flag, and below him, the seat where he would normally sit. So all of these plaques represent a knight of the garter. A grey marble slab sunken into the aisle, another reminder of Henry VIII, as Meghan Markle will literally walk over his grave towards her fiancé. Past the royal family, he'll be seated on this side, the bride's family on the other side, and she'll eventually settle up there by the step where she'll meet Harry. And with the words, I will, an American celebrity becomes British royalty.